All right, time for another Starbase Summary, looking at December 4th through the 6th. My name is John. You might know me as Das, but I'll be telling you what I think about the crews working on the ship Quick Disconnect Arm. Do we need to have a glossary? Like, should we have a glossary down in the description that's like SQD equals Ship Quick Disconnect? Do the hardcore fans think that that would be dumb? Or... Do enough people not know what it means when we say SQD that that would be useful if we put that in a lot of different videos? It, different than making an entire video that's just about that. In any event, remember we do two of these a week. And I'm going to watch this and tell you what I think is going on and then read all of your comments. I do read all the comments on just about every single video and I reply to a lot of them. So anyways... Where's a mailbox there? Did anybody see the mailbox down at the bottom of the, the raceway there? <laughs> In that entire big industrial scene, the thing I saw was the cheap Home Depot mailbox. Must have, like, plans or something in it, but... Been having some weather out there at Starbase. We've been uh, very closely managing our solar power and our power consumption at all of our camera sites. We've got a bunch of remote control relays so we can turn things on and off, but you'll see throughout this video the weather has not been kind to us. That's okay. There's some fancy looking containers. Almost looks like stainless steel sides there. And here we are back over at the OLM for Pad B. Of course, that's the orbital launch mount. The other one looks kind of like a Stargate that's made of metal and then laid on its side with a rocket standing on top of it. This one looks more like a box. Be interesting to see what this looks like when it's on the ground. It's not exactly a box. It's got some like shaved off corners, but also back at the assembly yard, there's Pad B's ship QD arm, Quick Disconnect. And now this is the arm that holds the ship Quick Disconnect. It's not actually the Quick Disconnect. This one looks like it's a couple dates late because it says plate moved. I figure that was more of a Thanksgiving thing. Didn't. Thank you. Um, <laughs> moving a plate around. <laughs> Here's another load spreader. We'll tell the story of load spreaders just about every time we see them. If you have uh, things like that on the edge of a... Oh, wait, no, let's read it. It's a high bay whiffle tree. Weight, 23,700 pounds and 90,000 pounds and a number that was higher than 90,000 pounds. Let's scroll back and look at that label again. Anyways, you don't want to crush your cylinders or barrel sections or anything, so you have something that's going to take those lateral sort of pinching forces that a wire or harness would do when they're lifting from a single point. Nighttime peek inside the star factory here. We always keep an eye on these. Look at this. This thing is spinning. And it's got like, it's on like a rotisserie, like on a nose cone rotisserie. And I'm almost positive that these uh, robotic arms around the backside, no, nah, this not, it's not moving anymore, is it? Like I want to see those arms actually doing something like, just, just like I don't know, sparks or whatever. That would be cool. All right, anyways, look there. At the top, you see the booster quick disconnect, the little the ghost that's escaping from, escaping, escaping from the side of the booster quick disconnect there. They're blowing out the lines, basically. Have you ever heard of blowing the carbon out when you floor the car? Um, don't do that. NASA space flight not responsible. But uh, they're purging the lines here, and you can see that vapor coming out. You definitely hear it as well. You might want to check the ambient on that one to hear the, the noise of that. Okay, this is up. Yeah. And this is a Raptor quick disconnect. So this actually connects to the engines as opposed to the main fuel tanks of the ships. Or of the, of the booster, technically there. You, you might want to scroll back and listen to the audio on that, because that's cool audio on those clips. Anyways, they're just blowing out any, anything that might be in the lines. Condensation is hopefully not fod in there at this point. Um, something crawled in there, maybe a bug. But they purge them like that to make sure they blow them all out so they're clean for upcoming operations. It's a little bit of rain there. You can see the uh, rain has pooled up on the ground. Is the mailbox in this shot? Now I'm going to be looking for the mailbox in every shot. I don't see it in this shot. Is there more than one mailbox? Who knows? I see fire extinguishers and gas canisters there in the background as they're plumbing the stuff in. Any mailboxes? Nope. Just big <laughs> spreaders and uh, equipment there, cabling on the ground. There's that big armored quick disconnect hood for the booster. It's slightly confusing here. We didn't call it the 
BQD hood. We called it the Booster Cutie Hood. That's okay. If you watch enough of these, you'll know what the heck we're talking about. But it's a little worse for wear. It looks like it could do a little grinding and painting there. Some close-ups of the piping underneath Sky City here. Every time I see this, I think of Luke Skywalker hanging from an antenna in the Millennium Falcon, right? Everybody knows the scene. Well, maybe, maybe folks who are old enough know the scene that I'm talking about. Maybe some youngsters don't know the scene that I'm talking about. Going up the tower to the ship quick disconnect. It's not the SQD. This is the ship quick disconnect. You can see the plate is actually closed there, top center. And here's cruise atop booster 12. A little time lapse really highlights the sway of the aerial work platform there. Grid fins in effect, all in the flat position. Actually, insert an email about uh, how much more clearance you would get if you turned those grid fins. I. I I think I've been brought around that when they're moving it around, they may turn the grid fins not for more clearance, but so they're easier to see from the ground, right? Because they're like waffle patterns. Uh, but technically, you do get a little bit more clearance if you turn them to a 45 degree angle. Technically, I did the math. Anyways, we'll do an entire video about the math of that. There's some scaffolding being removed in the corner of the high bay. You can just see into the corner there the scaffolding going up. We've seen people removing it. Now here is the cladding, so not looking like it's going to stay white. It's some other sort of backing that they've put in there, so not glass. Interesting that they sort of covered that up and then they put additional black cladding on it. Ah, here we go. Roll out. All right. Yep. It's like a, like a leaning bus. It has a kneel down. It's actually being lowered by the... Uh, gantry crane, bridge crane technically there since the building supports the crane and the crane bridges the roof of the building or at least the airspace underneath the roof of the building. There goes the grid fins. Yes, nice 45-ish degree angle there. Technically gives you a little bit more clearance. More likely that it's so you can see the silly things. I don't know. Anybody from SpaceX, my DMs are open if you would like to correct me. That's a challenge. Anyways, so here we are preparing for this slightly sad here in the first week of December that we didn't get a Christmas show on the booster. If you remember last year, we had the Santa Claus and lights and all the decorations. We may have actually delayed that rollout last year, but here they're just going to lift it up with the SPMTs and get it the heck out of Dodge Sands Holiday Spirit. <laughs> ah, it's fine. Fine. It's not critical for flight. It's critical for excitement guaranteed. Actually, it's not critical for that anyways, either. But here's a shot from Jack close up as this thing rolls down the road. The weather was fantastic. It was like a Blade Runner sort of feel. You get the bloom from the lights and the low-hanging clouds and stuff like that. So this is like the uh, flare stacks belching flames on top of the buildings in the background and stuff. Well, we had a little bit of a uh, foggy haze. This is the future we were promised, almost. Slightly fewer androids. So far, we're getting there. There's the Starbase exercise plan. You're an SPMT driver and you walk behind the thing while making sure it's plumb and clear all the way over. Look at the lights in the background, right? I feel like I should hum a movie intro theme but here it is approaching our trailer up here on the curve. This is going to be one of the SBL cameras that the SBL operators were remote controlling. And all the detail, the big weights, they've got... God. Ah, it's just cool. Look. That looks science-y. That looks fiction-y. It's greebly. Is, honestly, the right term would be greebly. That is delightfully greebly. It looks very much like a proper spaceship when you've got it up close like that. Nice framing there with the sign and hopper. Hopper continues to make an appearance on the lower left of the frame there in that big spotlight. Of course here, yep, this is at the first tower. It's a nice framing of the historical sign <laughs> there down at the bottom. But ah, the weather was just so nice. If you're in the membership program here on YouTube or you're over in our Discord in L2, 
you probably saw some of those member images. We released a lot of stills and high quality photos and stuff like that behind the scenes. We put some of them out just for everybody to see. Then like the entire dump we give to members so they can see basically everything. But here's the lift snagged by the chopsticks, raised up above, scaffolding still in place. Any scaffolding naysayers who say that it's not possible to stack a booster while the scaffolding's still there. Well, there's a booster going right down to the middle of the scaffolding. Got a little scooch. Don't want to crumple in the engine bells in a fender bender or an engine bell bender or whatever you want to call it. But it gets us to the next day, and you've got booster 14 stacked on pad A. Ah, yes. I'm going to get a couple different shots here. Mary running around and letting us see that time-lapse cloud in the background. That's how SpaceX gets stuff done so quickly. That worker moving in like triple speed. Close up of the booster quick disconnect. The hood is now back. The armored shield is open and the quick disconnect has like done its little alien maneuver and suckered onto the side bottom of the booster down there. At some point those jokes are probably gonna get little like miles on them, so just tell me in the comments if they do. <laughs> I like this very official title, the Starhopper Test Vehicle. Then you launch into the historical explanation of in 2019, or whatever. Actually, I think it's, I think it's less than that. <sighs> the 526, 523, I assume at some point they're going to scrape those off. It's like graffiti. You need to get some graffiti remover over there. Or take off the spray paint with turpentine. Oh, turpentine. This isn't turpentine. Is this the robot? Did Mary catch the robot? Yes, it, it sparked. Psst, look at that. Oh, go higher. Please show me some sparks. That's too cool. I could sit and watch that all day. I want like a time lapse of that thing just working for hours. Like putting all the little pins on there. Too cool. Sort of thing you only get if you're out there all the time. Mary catching that sort of cool footage for us. I think Jack got some of that as well. Jack came in and was like, guys, guys, I got I got I got the welding robot and we're like, yeah, we saw it. Mary has it in the daily. <laughs> <laughs> Little competition's okay. It is cool to catch any way you slice it. But that is going to bring us up to the end of our Starbase Summary. Y'all, thank you so much for hanging out. Again, I read the comments. Talk to me down below. That's me, John. Footage from Mary, Jack Byer, and this SBL Ops. You can watch 24-7 at nsf.live slash Starbase. But for now, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.